Hi everyone, this is Andrea. Welcome to the cooking tips section of my website. Today we're going to be talking about salt and seasoning. Now, a lot of you may not think about seasoning as a skill, but it's actually one of the most fundamental and important skills that a chef can have. Let's talk about different kinds of salt. I know when you go to the grocery store, there's lots of different options. You have table salt, kosher salt, sea salt. You also have higher end salts such as fleur de sel, pink Himalayan sea salts, etc. For everyday use, I think your best bet is kosher salt. It's light and flaky and it melts very easily into the food. Now I know there's some of you out there who are using table salt to season your food with and I really want to encourage you to make a switch. Table salt tends to have a very metallic flavor and it really imparts that flavor into whatever you're preparing. If you don't believe me, go ahead and take a little bit of kosher salt and taste it next to the table salt. I think you'll find that the kosher salt has a very crisp, clean flavor, whereas the table salt has sort of a tin foily flavor to it. Now the question is, when to salt the food? The easy, short answer to that question is early in the process and also throughout. Of course, it depends on what you're making, right? So if you're making a roasted pork loin, for example, I recommend salting the meat up to 24 hours in advance. I think you'll find that once the meat's cooked, it's going to have a wonderful juiciness and a really nice enhanced flavor. Now if you're making a soup or a sauce, I recommend salting throughout. So as you add your different ingredients, add a little salt to enhance the flavors of those ingredients. So first you may add onions. The salt is going to enhance the sweetness of those onions. Next you might add mushrooms. The salt's going to add a little earthiness or bring out that earthiness in the mushrooms. Remember, it's not supposed to taste like salt. It's supposed to enhance the flavor of the food. The most important thing, of course, is to taste, taste, taste. You need to keep track of how much salt you're putting in and make sure it's to your level that you prefer. Now when I salt, I don't use a salt shaker. I prefer to use what's called a salt pig. So I pour all my kosher salt into here and I have easy access to the salt. When you use a shaker, you can't really monitor how much you're using because you're just shaking it on there. But using a salt pig and having easy access allows you to really monitor. Of course, you don't have to get something like this. You could use a bowl or some kind of jar. Whatever you have at home would be great. And if you do have a question about how much salt to add or if you should keep going, if you're making a soup or a sauce, for example, what you can try is taking out a small portion of that sauce or soup and adding just a tiny bit of salt to that to see how it changes the flavor. And then if it improves it, go ahead and add a little bit of salt to uh, your big pot of whatever you have. Now before we wrap up today, I do just want to touch on health and sodium just for a moment. Um, a lot of people you know, give salt kind of a bad rap, but one thing I'd really like to point out is that a lot of sodium that people are getting in their diet is from processed foods. So things like chips and cereals and candy bars. If you're using salt with a fresh diet, so fresh proteins, fresh starches, fresh vegetables, you're probably not going to be using as much sodium as you would be if you're eating all processed foods. So just something to keep in mind. That's it for today. Please join me at my website at feastandmerriment.com. Have a good one.